Hello everybody! So today I have my wish trend wish box number 4 video. Um, I know this is a really really late and I know most of you guys know that the wish box number 4 event is over. So I'm very, very, I'm very, very sorry about that. But I still wanted to upload this video because I have been trying out the products that I got in this wish box, and uh, I wanted to share with you guys what I thought about it. The month before when I uploaded my very first Wish Trend unboxing um, video, that wasn't a wish box. That was actually for. Um, that was actually just featuring the products that were supposed to. Um, review uh, for that month. So that wasn't a wish box. But this month, um, not this month, July's month was a wish box and it was wish box number four. And I believe they still have the wish box premium still on there, um, which I think retails for like 50 something or 40 something dollars. I forgot or 30 something. I forgot. But I know that it's really affordable uh, because you get full size products in there and usually um, if you total up the um, the cost of each product in there, it exceeds the amount that um, they are um, selling their wish boxes for. Uh, first thing I see pore, um, where is pore mask? This is the pore minimizing mask and this is by Kaolion or Kaolion? Kaolion. I can't say it in English for some reason. Kaolion and um, this is it retails for $30.99 on the website, wishtrend.com, and it's for all skin types, so you don't have to worry about using it if you have like oily skin, dry skin, combination skin. Um, and there's 50 mils in here, and um, it's really, really nice because uh, it's super, super cooling. Like, at first, when I put it on, first I was like, I don't feel any cooling and then the cooling sensation starts coming like right after like a few seconds or a few minutes um, but yeah it's really really cooling and I really like that um, it's not like cooling to the point of where it's um, stinging or anything so that's really good and um, yeah it's really good amount that you get here and it looks like that it looks like a mud mask basically and the consistency of it is it's pretty um, like it's not thick it's not thin it's right in between um, so like when you put one layer on it might be a little too sheer so what I like to do is I like to kind of apply a second layer on top um, after the first layer because I feel like it's too sheer and that it's not really doing anything when you have such a sheer um, layer on top so um, yeah so it's really, really good. I really like this. I haven't seen any minimizing of my pores yet. Maybe it's because my pores aren't that big. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I really like it. It made my skin really, really soft afterwards. So that is a plus. Um, the next thing in here is the Skin and Lab Dr. Sun Care Perfect Sunblock in the Desert. And this has SPF 48, PA++, plus, triple pl PA+. Plus. And... Um, I love this sunscreen. I'm sure you guys all know how much I love my Shiseido one, right? This is my holy grail. I've been using it for like more than five years now, I believe. I think I first started using it when I was a freshman in high school, um, ninth grade. And I love that sunscreen. But um, after getting this, I started using it because I was like, I need to try it out because... I need to review it so um, I tried it out and this is amazing it doesn't um, break out my skin it doesn't make my skin get um, irritated at all and I don't know if you guys know this but I'm allergic to the Sun I have um, polymorphous eruption which is um, PMLE polymorphous light eruption I always forget the light um, but basically if I'm out in the Sun for too long like exposed to the Sun for too long I get hive like eruptions on my face on my body and I get itchy and I'm red it basically looks like a rash but it's like it hurts a lot it's itchy it dries out my face all the time and it just sucks um, but usually sometimes sunscreen makes that happen to me as well so like my skin it just doesn't like like some sunscreens so I was really really like scared to try a, out a different sunscreen um, from my Shiseido one because the Shiseido one was like one of the few ones that didn't irritate my skin and after trying this out I am in love and this is a full size so in the wish boxes you get full size products 
and um, it, you get it for a really really affordable price and uh, even though this, the uh, Wishbox number 4 event is over, you can still buy these on their website separately. Um, but yeah, this is the Skin and Lab one, so it looks like this. It's a really nice sleek tube. And there's quite a lot of product in here. There is 50 mils in here. And I love this. It's like, it's not super mattifying. It's not super, um, like glowy it's like right in between that as well so it makes your skin very very smooth after applying it and I love it it's so nice and the scent to it is very subtle it kind of smells like coconuts to me um, but there is a sunscreen scent to it but not the type of sunscreen scent where it's like horribly like painful to your nose um, and like I said it smells like it smells like coconuts to me so that's how subtle and like light the scent is so I really really like this and now for the information this is by skin and lab and it's for all skin types as well 50 mils and it retails on the on their website for $16.99 so um, yeah I love this you guys should definitely try this out um, if you guys like to try out different sunscreens this is a good one to try out and I love it it works really well um, for priming your face before applying foundation as well. And then it comes like um, it comes with a pouch, your wish box, and most of your products are in here. And it's a really cute pouch. I really, really like it. Um, so the next thing in here is the must have um, eyeshadow. And um, the must have eyeshadow, I talked about it in my last wish box, not wish box, wish trend video. And the last one I got was Aura, which I absolutely love. And um, this one I was really excited to get because this is one of the ones I really wanted. This is in skin. And the must have eyeshadows um, are $12.99 on the website. They have um, 1.8 grams in them. And the color you get is random if you got the wish box. Um, number four and I love this eyeshadow and you guys all know how much I love the way this box just opens because it has this tab you just pull that tab out and then your eyeshadow is easy to get out so this one is in skin and it's a shimmery um, champagne shade it's beautiful as a, just an all over shade for everyday that's what it looks like. There's like a lot of little shimmer, um, silver shimmers in it. This one doesn't have as much fallout as the um, Aura does. Oh, everything fell. It's much more smoother and less fallout, which is really, really nice. And I love, I love this eyeshadow. It's so pretty. So that's that. And then, since everything fell, the next thing in here is the Pluie. Um, Pluie, 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 um, leather waterproofing, um, formula. It's called the Right Waterproof System for Leather, and it's supposed to help your leather get, um, waterproof. It comes in a little tube like this, and I haven't used this yet, but, um, I'm gonna use this on my bag, and I'll let you guys know later. Next one is the Misha 3D Mascara, and this is one of their best-selling mascaras. Um, and this is um, this has seven grams in it. It retails for three dollars, three dollars. Yeah, and it's really good, guys. I don't know if you can see my eyelashes right now. Um, maybe if I turn this aside. I don't know if you can see that, but this works amazingly well, and it's not even waterproof. It keeps my curl that's a good thing and also it lengthens my eyelashes like no other um the mascara that i was using before this was the skin food one the skin food seaweed waterproof mascara and also the nyx doll eye mascara waterproof and oh my gosh okay this one it's a it has a dry formula it's not wet it's not runny at all and um it just makes my eyelashes lift up really really well now while i was using these these were both really wet formulas so it would droop my lashes it wouldn't keep my curl until the formulas dried out a bit so i really love this now if you have asian annoying stubborn lashes like me um 
Or if you're not Asian and you have like super just droopy lashes that, that just don't like you, just try this out because it's so good. And lastly is the Lizzie Lips Lip Gloss in number 22 Bling Bling Red Sorbet. And um, Lizzie Lips, this is also, um, this brand is by Liz K. That is the brand. And um, this is, um, this has 4.7 grams in it. Um, and you you either get number one or number two in the wish box, but they have a whole bunch of different shades on the website at wishtrend.com, so you could choose your color that you want. And it retails for sixteen fifty on the website. So I really really like this lip gloss. I actually really like it. A lot of people say they don't like this, but I really like it. it smells really nice, um, and it's not sticky, which is big plus for me because I hate sticky lip glosses like I hate it when my hair gets caught in them I hate it when it makes me like a stringy mouth monster looking person um but yeah this is a super pretty shade it's a nice um reddish pink like watermelon pink with lots of shimmers in it and I love the packaging because it's so sleek and so pretty and even cooler the wand do you see this lipstick applic uh, lipstick, this wand? It's clear. I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And the um, applicator right here, it reminds me a lot of the Sephora applicators for their Sephora lip glosses. So it's a very, very interesting way of making a lip gloss. So that is the shade right there. As you can see, it's very sheer. So. It's not like a super pigmented um, lip gloss or anything, so you can barely see it on there. But it's really sheer, um, but I like it, even though it's sheer. I think it makes my lips look really, really nice and shiny. And uh, most of the time, uh, lip glosses with shimmers in them um, help make your lips look a little plumper and a lot smoother, so I really like this. That is all that was in the wish box number four. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review and I encourage you guys to go check out wishtrend.com and purchase the stuff on their website because they have a lot of Korean brands on there for a really good price because sometimes other places they sell them for like super duper expensive like ridiculous amounts and wishtrend they're so nice. Wish Trend, they have really good customer service. They respond to your emails really quickly and they're just really, really nice people. So I highly, highly, highly suggest you go there and check it out. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>